different from what you've seen on YouTube videos. So it's quite exciting to show it to you and basically just tell you a bit more about the company. So for those who don't know, Sling's been around since about 2008, 2009, since we started our first journey flying around the world in the little Sling 2. And since then, we've made a lot of strides flying around the world and basically bringing to market a lot of new aeroplanes. So on your left-hand side, you're going to see basically our company Sling 2. That's how we started life. So Mike Wyatt and James Pittman were the original two founders. And they then decided to basically build an aircraft because they couldn't find anything that fit the ball to meet their requirements. And essentially Mike had the Rotax partnership, so the Rotax engine partnership in South Africa. And he was flying trikes at that stage. But he wanted something that he could essentially sell engines to. So essentially it started this thing to went through a couple of iterations and in 2009 basically go and take it to Oshkosh in the USA, the biggest air show in the world. And after that trip, after basically flying for <coughs> around about 70 hours or so, they had a wonderful um, sort of following along and decided to rather, instead of going through Europe back to South Africa, continue flying to west around the world back to South Africa again. After that the journey started. So Sling 2 standard has about a maximum weight of about 700 kilograms. They loaded the aircraft up to 950. So we saw that there was big potential in the airplane itself. So after that they decided to start the 904UL engine on, stretch the fuselage, stretch the wings, and that essentially made the first four-seater. And that's how the company quite a great took off after that. Since then we've also developed the TSI. So we actually got a bit lucky. Rotax released the 915 IS engine, which was an upgrade from 115 horsepower to 140, which really gave us a lot more room to play with when it comes to aerodynamics and performance. So in 2018, we released the TSI, as it's now known, and since then, it's been our most successful model. We sold 650 serial numbers to date. So it's quite a successful aircraft, the majority of which are in the USA. So, since then, Rotax have then released the 916 IS. And, excuse me, um, we've gained a lot of success and uh, the performance increases with this model too. Um, when we took the TSI to the States in 2018, essentially, there was a lot of excitement for the model, but a lot of Americans came to us and said, listen, we'd love your aircraft, but we just want a high wing. We want to buy one of your planes, but we just don't like getting onto a wing. It's not practical for us. So that then led Mike to basically design the high wing as we know today. So behind you here, it took about five years of development work, but essentially this is now the final iteration of the high wing as we know and love it today. So essentially DFE, excuse me, Sierra Hotel Whiskey, which was the first prototype that we developed, had a bit of kinks that we had to work through. We did fly it to the USA in 2022, but DFU has since made a huge impact and, it, and basically showcases all of the changes that we've done to the model since, since then. So take a chance, walk around it, have a squeeze at it, and basically just see it in its final form right now. After that, we can continue throughout the factory and show you basically how it's constructed. So yeah, any questions at the moment? So essentially the TSI does 155 knots, true, the high wing does about 150, so it's quite quick. Stall wise, better on the high no, wing? No, it's, it's a bit heavier, so it does stall a bit, a bit, um, a bit quicker too, about 55 knots calibrated. Take off landing distance similar? Um, the high wing is actually a bit longer, 200 meters. Yes, is that because of ground effect? Yes, yeah, 100%. Yeah, with the TSI, the wing and ground effect, it does take off quicker. Yeah.